In this video, let's look at how to improve Xbox 360 Red Dead Redemption performance on the Steam Deck. The performance of this game was really bad, and we could only get average 10 to 15 FPS. But if you follow the step I showed in this video, we will have average 25 to 30 FPS. To be clear, there are resolution downscaling to achieve this playable frame rate. But overall, I am satisfied with this result on the deck. This setup strategy I used in this video can be applied for the most of other Xbox 360 games as well. Also, if you haven't installed Xbox 360 emulator on SteamOS, you can check out this video first. I have tried to use CryUtility and Power2 from EmuDeck to boost the performance, but the result is barely noticeable. The last method I was looking into is Xenia game patch file, and the result turned out to be very positive, and we can have average 10 FPS increase. The game patch file setup is super easy to do. The majority of 316 games has its own patch file, so this patch file performance improvement method will work for the most of Xbox 316 games. Now let's set up the game patch file. So here I am assuming you have followed this video and your Xenia emulator is working. You should have Xenia Canary folder somewhere on your deck. This folder does not have to be in the same location as I show here. Click and open your Xenia Canary folder. We can leave this window open and just minimize it. The next thing we need to do is go to Xenia Canary game patch file download website. I already have this GitHub website linked under this video description. So on this page, we can click here to download the game patch files. Then we can open it from the download folder. This is a zip file, so we need to extract the file first. After it's extracted, we can delete the original zip file. Then we need to copy this patches folder into your Xenia Canary folder. So just make sure it's copied into your Xenia Canary folder as I show here. I prefer to use the copy function here instead of a cut because we can still have a backup patch file in the download folder just in case if you messed up with the patch file copied into the Xenia folder. If we open the patches folder, you will see lots of patch file here. Each game will have its own patch file. Let's put this into detailed view mode so we can see it more clearly. Then we can easily find the Red Dead Redemption patch files here. Some games may have multiple version patch files, so make sure you pick the correct patch files that match with your game version. If you have no idea about your game version, then you can modify a patch file each time and keep testing with the game until you find the correct patch file that matches with your game. I know this Red Dead Redemption patch file is matched with my game ROM, so I will open this up. And don't feel panic when you see this page. It's actually pretty simple to understand and modify. If we look closer, you will see we have all different patch names. So each patch name will represent a function we can turn on and off. The false means turn the patch off, true means turn it on. So to find which patch to turn on and off, it's a little bit time consuming. Sometimes you just have to turn it on and off and keep testing until you experience good result. I have tested the best result for Red Dead Redemption here. So you can just follow my patch file setup and you were able to get the best performance. I am not going to explain one by one here, so just enable all the patches that I turn on in the video. Remember save the patch file before you close it. If somehow you messed up the patch file, you can copy the backups that in the download folder to overwrite the one you messed up. Also, you may realize some patch feature will work as cheat. There are some patch functions will allow us to get infinity ammo, or life, or infinity health. 
that's pretty fine to use as well. Okay, from here, I will just show which patch I enabled. Once everything is set, then we can save the patch file and back to the gaming mode. Then if we boot up the game from the gaming mode, the patch we just applied from desktop mode should take effect. You can see the FPS is reached 30 and all grass and trees are gone in the game. So that's pretty much all for this one.